The Last of Us, and now Fallout. This is the era of live action video game content that's actually great. Hey guys, my name is Joseph Curtis, and if you love movies just as much as me, you have come to the right place. Now do me a huge solid and click that like and subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on the following social platforms, that would be great as well. Now, let's start talking Fallout. In a future post-apocalyptic LA brought about by nuclear decimation, citizens must live in underground bunkers to protect themselves from radiation, mutants, and bandits. The series takes place in a location called The Wasteland, where we follow three characters. One being Lucy, who is a dweller of the vault who goes in searching for her father. The other character is Maximus, who is part of the Brotherhood of Steel. And the last main lead in this series is Walton Goggins, who plays my favorite character, the ghoul. Additionally to the cast, we have Moises Arias, who plays the brother to Lucy, Norm. His arc, to me, I think is the most intriguing one. That's where we go into a bit more of a detective mystery thriller angle with the vault. But the clear standout is Walton Goggins. I mean, everybody else does a fantastic job in this series, but Walton Goggins, he not only brings the BA-ness of the character, playing a Western outlaw ghoul in the future, he also brings the heart with flashbacks that periodically play throughout this entire series that shows the beginning and the end of what happened in the past and what brought about the nuclear decimation. Lucy in this series brings more of the innocence and Maximus brings a sense of duty and a torn past. Each character brings their own unique perspective in the story and as it goes further and further, you find yourself wanting to stay longer in the world because you are so mesmerized about what Jonathan Nolan is portraying to us. And this all may feel like it's overwhelming with all the different perspectives that are being thrown at you with the different characters, but no, Jonathan Nolan and the other creators find a way to make it so cohesive that yet they are on these different journeys they all come to a crossroads that flows so naturally now speaking of natural this show blends itself really well with the comedic aspect and the horror part of it i could hear some people already saying i don't know this show felt like it was trying to be two three different genres at once that is the point of Fallout, the entire series, is that there are so many things going on where it can stop for a moment and be a little bit of a comedy. And then five minutes later, it's taking its time with its characters while developing them in a very emotionally raw way. And then it can turn into a really weird science fiction horror trip. Nat King Cole. That is just one name of the many artists that they implement in this show. That is the most amazing thing about this series is the music choices, guys. I love the 1950s, 60s aesthetic, putting you in a time period that we have not been to yet, but does feel also so human and familiar at the same time. The needle drop brings you into the moment as the cool 50s to 60s soundtrack plays with the dystopian future as the backdrop for this series. Now let's talk shop. We have the directors and screenwriters. For the first three episodes, I believe, Jonathan Nolan took up the helm of being the director. We also have the screenwriter of Tomb Raider and Captain Marvel, and this is actually their third project. This is a great jumping off point. This is a fantastic place to be in as a writer because this blows out all the previous projects that they've done in the past. But despite me saying that, there were some moments, more so in the first two episodes, where the lines kind of came out a bit dry. And not just because of the performance, but the lines themselves really felt kind of clunky. Specifically in the Brotherhood of Steel subplot. Luckily, the show does engross you more in these characters when the circumstances they face are dire and deeply connected to their backstory. More so of my issues are in the first half of the series, really the first two episodes where a character will be in one place and then all of a sudden they are conveniently exactly where the other character is and it's not like they were looking for them they're just there at the right time and that kind of stuff has me shaking my head a bit the pacing gets extremely breezy when these characters are starting to cross over into each other's arcs lucy becomes more acquainted with the wasteland seeing the darker side of the world she starts realizing putting on a smile on her face and carrying some manners is not going to go far 
in this place. And the last thing that I'll say about this series that did a fantastic job is with its messaging with capitalism. You more in a sense get a feel of that agenda, that message, with the flashbacks with Walton Goggins' character. My favorite sequences were definitely with Norm's subplot, uh, Lucy's brother, and the mystery thriller aspect, trying to figure out what's going on. But you also have that same kind of perspective with uh, what happens in 2077 with the ghoul, well, before he became the ghoul, and him trying to figure out what is vault really about. That's where you see capitalism spread across all the storyline in that section, and it didn't feel heavy-handed, it felt so organic and so necessary, and actually pretty timely. Overall, Jonathan Nolan takes us on a journey full of darkness, color, humor, and world-building, but he brings us to an environment that we want to dive deeper into. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this review, it really means a lot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and also don't forget to be blessed.